Good morning, students. Let's start with a new chapter in morals, being courteous. The value of the chapter is good behavior. What do you mean by courteous? Being courteous means to be polite. Okay, when we behave decently, when we behave nicely with others, it means we are being courteous. Okay, now let's read the chapter and understand what is given in it. Being courteous means being polite to others and treating them with respect. If somebody hurts you and then says sorry to you, you feel good. Words like sorry, thank you, please, excuse me, may I, pardon, welcome, etc. are small words of courtesy. These words show that you care for other people also and not just yourself. So children, do you know being courteous is extremely, extremely easy? Okay, here are some words like sorry, thank you, please, excuse me, may I, pardon or welcome. Okay, these are the courteous words. Small words that can make someone happy. Okay, so we should always, always use these words. Whenever we speak to others, we should be very courteous. Now we're going to read a story and try to understand what it takes to be courteous. A courteous child. On a hot summer day, Rohit, an eight-year-old boy, was standing in the lawn of his house. Suddenly, he saw an old man at the gate. As Rohit moved towards the gate, he noticed that the old man was sweating badly and was thus looking very frustrated. After reaching the gate, Rohit said, Hello, uncle. How can I help you? The old man asked, Is it house number 41? Rohit replied, Yes, uncle. I would like to meet Mr. Saxena said the old man. Hearing this, Rohit said, Uncle, though it is the house number 41, it is not Mr. Saxena's residence. It is actually Mr. Pandey's residence. The old man said, Seems that I have a wrong address. As he turned back to go, Rohit said, Uncle, please wait. Have a glass of water. Yes, said the old man. Rohit went inside and came back with a jug of water, a glass, a few biscuits and a towel. The old man ate the biscuits, drank two glasses of water and wiped his face with the towel. He thanked Rohit. Rohit replied, Welcome, uncle. He added, This is block number one. You can try in block number two. Saying this, Rohit explained him the way to block number two. After a few days, Rohit's father, Mr. Tarun Pandey, told him, We have to vacate this house. I have come to know about a flat which we will go to see tomorrow. Next morning, Rohit and his father reached a building. Leaving Rohit in parking, Mr. Pandey went in. He returned after 10 minutes and said, the owner wants one year rent in advance. I do not have so much money. We'll have to look for some other property. Rohit noticed that his dad looked very sad. As they started to move out, they heard a voice. Excuse me, Mr. Pandey. Wait a minute. As Rohit looked upwards, he was the same old man in the balcony. Soon, the old man came down. Rohit greeted him. Hello, uncle. The old man smiled. The old man asked Rohit's father, How do you know this child? He's my son, replied Rohit's father. Hearing this, the old man told about Rohit's courtesy to his father and said, I'm sorry to ask for a deposit. Your son was good to me that day. It seems your family is a very courteous and caring family. You can come to live in my flat and pay the rent on monthly basis. Rohit was rejoiced and said, Thank you, uncle. 
children. Thus we see that how little acts of courtesy often become rewarding. The moral of the story is little acts of courtesy impresses people. So what happened in this chapter? Once there was a boy named Rohit. He saw an old man standing outside his gate searching for someone's house. Okay? It was very hot. Bohat garmi thi aur garmi mein dhoop mein ek boodha aadmi bahar khada tha kisi ka ghar dhoondte hue. Then this little boy Rohit went and asked, Hello, can I help you? Kya mein aapki madad kar sakta ho? Okay? That old man was searching for house number 41. Okay? But he was searching for Mr. Saxena. Rohit said, This is house number 41, but this is Mr. Pandey's house, not Mr. Saxena's house. Okay? So the old man had wrong address of somebody. So the old man understood ki uske paas address galat diya hua hai. Okay, then because it was a very hot summer day and the man was sweating, he was frustrated. Okay, garmi mein dhoop mein khade ho ki usse pasina aara tha, usse gussa aara tha. To out of courtesy, Rohit ne is old man se kaha, can I give you a glass of water? Okay, kya mein ek glass paani aapko de sakta hu? The old man was very happy okay because this child was very courteous he was very well behaved so the old man said yes please so rohit went inside brought one glass of water some biscuits and a towel for this old man then this old man drank the water ate the biscuits wiped his face and thanked rohit unhone Rohit ko thank you bola. Rohit ne bola, you're welcome. Okay. So these words, thank you, welcome, please. Okay. These are courteous words. These makes a person feel very happy and generous. Then what did Rohit say? This is block number first. You can try block number second. Okay. There you might find the correct address of the correct person. Then, what happened after a few days? After a few days, Mr. Tarun Pandey, who was Rohit's father, he said, we have to vacate the house. What do you mean by vacate? Vacate means to empty. So, Mr. Pandey ne kaha ki hame ye ghar Khali karna hai. There is a flat that I have seen. Unhone ek flat ki baare mein suna tha. Jahaan pe wo log apni family ke saath rai sakte hai. So the next day, they all went to see the flat. But they left Rohit downstairs in parking in the car. Okay, then what happened? Rohit saw his parents coming back right after 10 minutes. Sirf 10 minutes mein hi usne apne parents ko wapas aate hue dekha. Aur wo log aapas mein baat kar rahe the. What were they talking? Rohit's father, Mr. Pandey, was saying that the owner of the flat wants whole year's rent in advance. Poore saal ka rent. Pehle hi advance mein unhe chahiye. Now Rohit's family was a little poor. They did not have that much money. So, they felt really sad. Rohit's father, Mr. Pandey said that now we will have to see some other property. Okay? Ab hume koi aur ghar dekhna padega rehne ke liye. Okay? Then, what happened? Right at the time when they were leaving that place, जब वो लोग वहां से बस निकलने ही वाले थे तब ऊपर से उन्हें आवाज आई किसी ओल्ड मैन की ऑन हियरिंग द वॉइस रोहित पीप्ड आउट ऑफ द कार ही सॉ दैट सेम ओल्ड मैन इन द बालकनी 
ओके वॉट हैपेंड रोहित ने झांका तब उसने देखा कि वो वही आदमी है वो वही ओल्ड मैन है whom he offered the glass of water the towel and the biscuits okay so the old man recognized rohit us old man ne rohit ko pehchan liya okay what did the old man say the old man said excuse me mr pande how do you know this child aap is bacche ko kaise jante ho mr pande replied he is my son okay and rohit also recognized the old man the old man came down from the balcony and told rohit's father about everything that happened on that day when rohit offered him water towel and some biscuits when he needed help the most unhone rohit ke father ko rohit ki कर्टसी के बारे में बताया हाउ वेल बिहेव्ड दैट चाइल्ड इज ओके एंड दिस मेड रोहित फादर वेरी हैप्पी द ओल्ड मैन अपोलोजाइज फॉर आस्किंग होल ईयर्स रेंट इन एडवांस ओके ओल्ड मैन ने कहा आई एम सॉरी कि मैंने आपसे पूरे साल का रेंट मांगा आप पर मंथ मुझे रेंट दे सकते हैं पर मंथ मीन्स चिल्ड्रन मंथली बेसिस पे हर मंथ मुझे आप रेंट पे कर सकते हैं मिस्टर पांडे रोहित फादर बिकेम वेरी हैप्पी ओके रोहित के फादर बहुत खुश हो गए देन रोहित रिजॉइस्ड एंड सेट थैंक यू अंकल सो यू सी चिल्ड्रन हाउ लिटिल एक्ट्स ऑफ गुडनेस एंड करटिसी बिकम रिवॉर्डिंग ओके वट एवर गुड यू डू गुड वेलकम बैक टू यू आप कभी भी किसी के लिए कुछ भी अच्छा करेंगे तो आपके साथ अच्छा ही होगा यू ऑलवेज गेट गुड फ्रूट्स ऑफ इट ओके